Well, another sign of New York's recovery from the pandemic, the world's largest celebration of Italian American heritage has returned to the streets of the city today. The Columbus Day Parade is marching up Fifth Avenue right now. CBS News' Vanessa Murdoch is live along the parade route in Midtown with more. Vanessa. It is a party out here today along Fifth Avenue, guys. Take a look behind me. Yes, the parade got started just about a half hour ago, and organizers expect one million spectators to line the route and join in, yes, the world's largest celebration of Italian American heritage. Italian flags and proud Italian Americans fill and line Fifth Avenue today to show pride of culture. We watch the Grand Marshal Michael Pascucci, officers on horseback, hot cars, marching bands. In total, 35,000 people participating will travel from 47th to 72nd Street to share their love of all things Italian with New York City. This is tradition. President Benjamin Harrison signed the law creating the holiday in 1892, a year after 11 Italian immigrants were lynched in New Orleans and at a time when Italians in America faced discrimination. Columbus was commissioned by Queen Isabella of Spain and after Columbus, many Spanish explorers followed, bringing Hispanic culture, language and religion to Mexico, the Caribbean and South and Central America. Today marks the 77th annual Columbus Day Parade, and those we spoke with are thrilled to be back together to celebrate. This is the moment of the hugs. This is the moment to see each other in the eyes, to touch, you know, how Italian we are. So we miss this direct contact. It's very special because uh, I've been marching in this parade since I'm about three years old when my father was a police officer. So I carried on the tradition for many, many years. I have never missed one parade in 39 years. He was the great explorer. If it weren't for him, where, where would we be today? So we'd have to remember that. Super Italian, yes. <laughs> see some floats, see some um, marching bands. It's going to be a fun time. As we bring you back out here live to the parade route, I'm not sure you can even hear me, but it is a party out here today. I want to share with you a proclamation issued by the White House on Columbus Day. This is in part. The proclamation states many Italians would follow his path in the centuries to come, risking poverty, starvation, and death in pursuit of a better life. Today, millions of Italian Americans continue to enrich our country's traditions and culture. Today, we also acknowledge the painful history of wrongs and atrocities that many European explorers inflicted on tribal nations and indigenous communities. It is a measure of our greatness as a nation that we do not seek to bury these shameful episodes of our past, that we face them honestly, we bring them to the light, and we do all address them. All right, guys, so the parade is ongoing. Uh, one thing to note that is different this year, typically many more Italians from Italy come here to walk the parade route, but because of COVID, there will be fewer Italians here today. We are live along Fifth Avenue for the Columbus Day Parade. Vanessa Murdoch, CBS News.